Welcome back to my channel and again if you're watching and seeing me for the first time hi how are you my name is Miami my channel it's called Miami loves and if you happen to love perfumes just as much as I do please do consider subscribing and when you do click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video and also comment down below and introduce yourself so let's get into the reviewing we're gonna review about eight perfumes i think we'll start with the vince Camuto, and we'll have to we'll start with the chow this is the chow it's kind of girly girly some people call, say it's pretty packaging some people say it's tacky it's up to you but what's important is the juice okay this to me is a very kind of flirtish you know playful um, not sexy by any means, but I think it's a playful, fun scent, okay? On first spray, you do get a blast of fruity, fruity berries, okay? So it's kind of refreshing. After the first spray, when it, I'd say within five minutes, it goes to the territory of becoming like a lipstick smell, you know? You know, like the strawberry chapstick or cherry chapstick, that kind of smell and sort of waxy and but i like uh the dry down it's kind of fun for me okay it dries down to still sweet kind of warm okay I'm not saying it's not good for spring okay when i say mean warm it's kind of comforting because it has a hint of nuttiness and and wood woodsiness okay woody woody on the dry down not too strong okay this is a good spring perfume okay uh, fruity floral so if you like a playful scent if you like strawberry this is the scent for you okay Vince Camuto Chow the second perfume we're gonna review is still from Vince Camuto and this is the ever so popular Fiori okay I had one comment just now just before I started filming saying they could not find this in Philippines so I suggest uh, I can't remember your name I'll look I'll reply to you later uh, go fragrances I'm, I'm pretty sure fragrance is ship worldwide I would do you know what I, I it kind of gave me an idea I should do my uh, experience ordering online because I do order from fragrance so this is kind of popular in Philippines because apparently this is similar to chance or tundra so I'm not sure I can remember Chandra um, okay to tell you the truth between Fiori and Chow I think this is a little bit interesting on based on what I experienced okay um, on first spray it's like a sparkling nectarine okay nectarine is predominant but then I started smelling the peach and I'm thinking well it's not listed but uh, Bellini is actually a, a, a peach liqueur so that's what it is okay and then the meat is what I kind of like with this perfume it kind of turned a little bit spicy just a hint of spiciness and I think it might be from the fish I don't know or oh, no and then it turns powdery from the iris so imagine a hint of spiciness and powderiness okay so i i like that so on the dry down it becomes a little bit woody and musky okay i, I did write it down because i can't be spraying all eight perfumes on my skin okay um especially it's hot anyway yes yeah, so i love this i to me okay let's be real okay this is fun and playful i reckon and this is more a little bit more e elegant if this is similar to otondra then i can see why a lot of people like otondra and this one okay it's elegant it's uh screaming spring you know and yeah and 
it can be a good signature scent so that's it that's um vince camuto fiore so let's go to to oscar de la ranta and we'll start with oscar de la ranta bella blanca okay this to me it, it opens up fresh bright and it's and i think it's because of the pear then florals okay this has tuberose lily of the valley jasmine and hint of green okay um i think the greenness that i can that i that i that i can smell from this is from the lily of the valley and then it dries down to a nice soft powdery a little bit woody and very very little musky but overall it's a it dries down powdery okay but not not like a baby powder smell like so powdery you know still not as good as Narciso Rodriguez but um yeah I think this is like the Fiori it's uh, this is a little bit elegant okay I would not say this is very formal or sexy or very elegant but if you want to this is a good signature scent too in my opinion if you're a little bit uh i want to say uptight not uptight but if you're a little bit demure and you don't want your you want to smell floral but not too floral or not too sweet i think this is a good signature scent for you okay yeah, I was surprised with this one. I think this is this is really nice. You know, I was I was kind of scared that it might turn a bit shampooy on me, but no, it, it actually it was leaning there, then it didn't. So I'm happy with this, and that's Oscar de la Ranta Bella Blanca. And next one is Oscar de la Ranta Bella Rosa. I gotta tell you, mga loves, these two perfume actually surprised me. Okay, I. To tell you the truth i kind of got them because of the packaging <laughs> you know it's so cute but the juice in them i was so surprised okay bella rosa let's talk about bella rosa this one is so similar to chow but i like this better than chow okay there you go i said it okay um these open up um sweet sweet you can't smell it on the bottle but i remember on my skin it's a little bit spicy i was surprised you know but the, but then again it has pink pepper and it, it and the meats is mostly sweet rose and on the dry down it becomes a little bit with the okay you might say oh that's kind of boring it's nothing groundbreaking but it's actually nice to tell you the truth it's kind of giving me the same vibes as don't come for me okay um you're absolutely blooming because i do own absolutely blooming and when i first smell this i'm thinking mm, i smell like it's similar to one of my perfumes already and it has kind of similar vibes okay um they both have pink pepper and in the mid notes um I think this one is, is listed pink rose, but absolutely blooming is May rose, which is pink. I don't know, maybe. And the sweetness, though, on absolutely blooming. This one is mandarin orange. It's not mandarin orange. Is not really a sour uh, fruit. It's it's more like sweet, like sweet juicy um, fruit, like a little bit of tartiness, but it's not really um sour and with the absolute blooming i know it's raspberry or strawberry i'm not sure i think it's raspberry so it's kind of similar although this of course this doesn't have that sparkling magic that dior perfume has but there are similarities i think just after like first some way on the first spray and the meats they're similar but then to me absolutely gloomy although a very very nice elegant perfume it's kind of stay linear whereas this one it becomes woody and a little bit powdery on the dry down so this is you know they i say that but i'm not dishing absolutely blooming it's 
it's a it's a great great perfume but and of course the performance of absolutely booming knocks this right off but still they're both nice okay so there you have it bella rosa okay okay the next one is to Marc Jacobs, okay? Let's start with, talk about bottle presentation, okay? Let's start with also oh Fresh, okay? This is in EDT. I think both of them on EDT, I'm, I'm quite sure. Yes, they're both EDT. This one kind of surprised me because I'm thinking, um, that's not gonna last on my skin because um, Manga Loves, you know, if I hadn't told already, if I haven't told you already, Okay, don't come for me, but I'm not a fan of the Mark Jacobs Daisy. So, this one I'm thinking, I only got it because of the bottle. So, there you have it. I don't care because of the bottle. <laughs> but, yeah, I was surprised. Uh, although this is Kathleen Lights, so if any one of you is a fan of Kathleen Lights, she talks about this perfume, okay? So... What I like about this one is the mids, okay? It's floral, as you expected, but it's kind of aquatic, sweet, and dewy. You know, I have to look for that word, okay? It's dewy. From the violet and the lychee, maybe the combination of it, you know? And on the dry down, it doesn't really turn like a loud mass or, 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 or as... Um, obvious woody I main sweet floral dewy and just a hint of powdery so this is uh, among this lot i think this is one of the most feminine you know it's soft it's feminine it's perfect for spring okay there you go so i think you can tell which one are my favorites so that's my jacobs also fresh so the next one we're gonna review is the flanker of a flanker okay so this is a flanker of daisy and then this is a flanker of this flanker okay this is mark jacobs daisy also fresh twink first of all i got this because of the bottle as you can i like the gold bit there <laughs> the gold flower i bought you because of that one gold flower can you <laughs> i don't care so, so what? Anyway, but a lot of people are actually saying that this is kind of reminding them, them of Insolence or Onsolence by Guerlain. I can't pronounce that, okay? I do have that perfume. I had down for a older packaging of Onsolence, so watch out when I unbox that. And I think a lot of people say everything reminds them of Onsolent because it has violet, okay? The star of this show, the star of this perfume is violet. Okay, this is a more playful version of Oh So Fresh. This one is like elegant. This is a little bit playful, okay? Um, to me, this is fruitier uh, because of the raspberry and and but similar to the also fresh and that's why it's a flanker of this i reckon instead of being another flanker of daisy it's it has a hint of green as well from the cases um but this one actually the surprising of this one it turns a little bit creamy on my skin so yeah why is it oh because it has whipped cream yeah, it's, I imagine it's hard to do a creamy, to make the scent creamy on a more bright spring scent. So, but it does. It has a hint of creaminess. Just the bottle is enough for, to buy this, okay? This is Daisy Also Fresh Twinkle. So now let's go to Gucci. We'll start off with Gucci. Flora Generous Violet 2012 Gucci release Floral Garden Collection Flora Garden Collection Five perfume they release is Glorious Mandarin Gracious Tuberose Glamorous Magnolia 
generous violet and the other one i have is gorgeous gardenia so this is one of them this is the older packaging i think correct me if i'm wrong comment down below if you are uh if you know about the gucci flora collection i think only the um gorgeous gardenia is um what's on the market I think the rest they they discontinued hence this is an older packaging and this is the new newer packaging which is kind of boring I, I like I like this the plate there but it's just a sticker really anyway let's talk about the juice okay okay this similar to twinkle here okay they both violet People are saying this kind of reminds them of Onsolans as well. Insolans, Onsolans by Guerlain. Okay, uh, I like this one too. Kinda, kinda. Um, do I say I love it? I kinda like this one too. So this starts off refreshing as well. I like the, the opening of this one. It has green nuances from the violet leaf, okay? And. On the meats though, I'm not a fan because uh, as you know, mga loves, I've talked about it before, I'm not a fan of shampoo, very shampoo, body wash smelling. And this kind of turn on my skin, okay? I'm not saying it does smell shampoo, body wash on your skin, but it's very fresh and clean. And on the meat, I would say it doesn't become too floral. It doesn't become too sweet. I kind of like. If you like violet perfume, if you're a fan of violet, you would like this, okay? Which is very, very apt. Because when they say generous violet, they were generous. Okay? And the dry down, I kind of like on this one. Because it has suede. But it's not like the suede... The, the similar suede that you smell on like a heavier dense perfume for the winter no this kind of turn a little bit earthy powdery to me if you if you if you get if you the get. next one is gucci flora gorgeous gardenia yeah so you can tell i've been using them like all right um this has pear too it's very refreshing but sweeter in my opinion than this one okay and then if you like gardenia you'd like this but this is mostly sweet gardenia the red berries are screaming loud here as well and this is sweeter than this okay to this um it does become a little bit shampoo body wash vibe which is not all bad okay and this is why i say uh, for people who are demure who wants to smell fresh and clean during spring and still um smelling floral fruity and these are these are really good perfume for you okay this is very clean very fresh and if you like gardenia and a little bit sweetness from berries this is a good perfume I hope you like my review and I, uh, I apologize for my thumbnails okay I'm not being sarcastic I wish I'm mahinhin but I'm not but uh, you know you can't buy class they said <laughs> you like my reviews and my take with these um, soft projecting floral perfumes for the spring and comment down below if you own any of these perfume which one's your favorite or a day on your wish list and yes so have a great day and stay stay safe and see you on my next vlog bye